<laughs> number one, number one, ready? This is so important. Always fail forward. Always fail forward. So many people develop this idea when they fail. They don't get where they thought they were going to get, or this didn't happen, or I didn't get that girl, or I didn't get that job, or, or I put myself out there, and I'm not going to do that again. And Let me tell you something. Successful people have failed over and over and over and over again. That's one of the reasons why you ought to be reading biographies of famous people. Because you look at some of their lives and you think, man, I never would have got past there. But that's what happens with successful people. They, they fail forward. They know that it's going to make them stronger. They know that it's going to make them better. They, they know they're not a failure because this didn't happen or that didn't happen. In John Maxwell's book, Fail Forward, which I recommend as a book, by the way, the essence of man is imperfection. Know, what you're gonna make, know that you're going to make mistakes. The guy who never makes a mistake takes his orders from the one who does. Wake up and realize this. Failure is simply a price we pay to achieve success. It's a stepping stone onto success. He says, embrace adversity and make failure a regular part of your life. If you're not failing, you're probably not really even moving forward. Some of y'all get that? You know where I'm talking about? Over the years, I've counseled so many people that failed, they failed, they failed, and they quit. And to be honest with you, when I fail and I think about quitting, I think, what if tomorrow is the day? What if this is one more trial that I was supposed to get through to get me ready for tomorrow? I'm afraid to quit. Because you grow through your failures. That is so important. Kyle Rote Jr., anybody remember that name? If you're my age, you do. He was a soccer player. And, and uh, he, was a, uh, he was a soccer player when soccer wasn't even cool. And uh, he writes this, There's no doubt in my mind that there are many ways to be a winner, but there's really only one way to be a loser, and that is to fail and not look beyond your failure. Now, I, I've got a couple of verses here that are not on your notes, but I have them on the screen. So let's look. This is kind of a famous verse that, that people kind of have on their refrigerators and, and focus on, especially when bad things happen. But, but look what it says. This is Romans 8, 28. And we know that God causes everything to work together for what? For good. What's the good? Does it mean life's going to be rosy? Does it mean that you're going to make a lot of money? Does it mean it's for the good according to God's purpose? And God has, that's the thing. If, if we really focus on who God is, and, and, and we're going to have purpose in our life, and we're going to realize that. We know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to His purpose for them. And see, so what, what that passage means is everything good, everything bad, every situation, every thought, every, every nurture situation that you go through, every single thing that you go through, if you believe, that's the key, if you believe, if you have faith, then you'll realize that God will make that work for the good. 